Canada. <laughs> Cold Mexico. It's basically five hockey rinks surrounded by bears. <laughs> when most people think of Canada, they think of three things. Maple syrup, French-speaking people, and people who are super friendly and polite. But me, I think of the uber-talented Patrick Seymour. You might not recognize his name, but you most definitely have seen his work. Bonjour tout le monde, je me présente. Mon nom est Patrick Seymour et je viens de Montréal. Ma passion, c'est le dessin et je travaille principalement dans Adobe Illustrator en vectoriel. J'espère que vous apprécierez cette vidéo de mon processus créatif. Merci beaucoup. I was very fortunate to be able to talk to Patrick. I wanted to share with you guys to turn you on to his work, to shed some insight into his process. The thing that drew me in about Patrick's work is its powerful graphic quality, that he's able to do so much with such modest tools and technique. He's essentially using only two kinds of things with an illustrator, the pen tool to draw a shape, and then, then the blend shape to kind of move between that. And there's a lot of people out there who can render images that look like photographs, but to me, the artists are able to interpret the world through their lens and share with you how they see things. Patrick, how did you start the bear illustration? Did you look at reference or did you start with some boundary lines? Can you tell me about your process? How did you do this? I start normally with three or four pictures reference and I draw a quick sketch with the pen tool of half the face. I don't know why, but I always start with the nose, after the mouth, after I go up and I finish with the bottom. For me, it's like coloring book. When I draw, I don't think it's pretty mechanic. It's just like made one by one. It's not that hard. You just need patience. It's pretty zen. How did you develop this technique? What was the inspiration for it? I always wanted to make woodcuts like MC Escher. I love black and white design big, impactful concept with a lot of contrast, but my hand has too shaky to draw or to be really precise. So I tried to reproduce the style in Illustrator, because I know that with the pen tool, the lines will always be sharp. Do you ever get commissioned to do illustration work? And if you do, do you have a rep for this kind of work? Please elaborate. I do freelance illustration at home, but for me, it's just for fun. It's more a hobby at this point. Some people like to play hockey, I like to draw to pass time. I don't have a rep. People find me on Behance or on Facebook. Behance is an amazing platform for creative. With this, I don't need a rep. Do you enjoy illustrating? <laughs> yes. That's the main goal, especially since it's not my real career. I do illustration just for fun, even when it's freelance project, maybe this is why it works so well. Congratulations on getting your work featured on this splash screen for Adobe Illustrator. How did that come about? It was pretty funny. At first, I think it was a scam. People at Adobe contacted me by email and was pretty unofficial. Also, at this moment, it was one of my first big projects, so I was thinking, why me? People at Adobe are really awesome and after a couple of emails, it was done. Pretty simple. How has your work being seen by so many people impacted you? For the Creative Cloud, Adobe want to showcase projects that were already been made on BNs and for Illustrator CC. The big focus was on the pen tool and how it was easier than ever to do perfect curves. My style is practically just that, <laughs> so I presume it was a low-brainer to use me as an example. The impact was immediately. When everybody on the planet see your mail and your illustration at the beginning of something each day, <laughs> it's pretty hard to pass incognito. I remember reading that you were an art director at an ad agency and only started illustrating because of budget limitations. Has any of that changed? No, haha. <laughs> I still work in advertising as an art director. Right now, I'm at LG2 here in Montreal and I still do illustrations, font, logo due to budget limitation and sometimes because I got the right style for the job. The reason why he started illustrating because the agency didn't have a budget for this project. So he's like, since we can't afford to hire an illustrator, I will do this. 
so he he made an illustration and one thing leads to another now he's illustrating on the side and at night and doing all these kinds of cool things and the world knows him i think more for him as being an illustrator not as an art director if you're watching his video and you see a need at the office or the agency that you work for step into that even though it's not within your zone of comfort you never know where that's going to lead do you have any upcoming projects or collaborations you want to share Yes, we start a Kickstarter with Outline Montreal. They made eight soft reactor LED masks with designs I made in the past, and the result is pretty awesome. Patrick, thanks so much for doing this. I really appreciate it. For people who want to know more, how can they get in touch with you or find out more about your work? People can find me by mail at patrickseymour at mac.com or always by BNs at bns.net slash patrickseymour. Merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.